What's up everybody? It's your boy Maddie, and today I'm gonna build a World of Warcraft Shadowlands PC. All right, so a friend of mine recently installed the World of Warcraft Shadowlands pre-patch. After doing so, she got an error message stating that World of Warcraft did not support her graphics card. This is most likely because she is still using a second gen i3 with the integrated graphics. No dedicated graphics. I have no idea how she was still playing World of Warcraft before this patch. So me, being an amazing friend, scrounged up some spare parts that I have laying around with the addition of one new part being the solid state drive. Okay, let me go through the parts. Like I said, the solid state drive, this is a 240 gigabyte PNY solid state drive from Best Buy for 29 bucks. Okay, and for the graphics card, this is an Asus Strix Gaming GTX 1050 Ti that I picked up used for 80 bucks. The motherboard was an open box deal from Micro Center for $58. The processor is an AMD Ryzen 3 2300X that I picked up used for 60 bucks and it included this Cooler Master Cooler. For the RAM, we've got 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RGB at 3200 megahertz. Okay, for the power supply, we have this scary thing. I don't really remember where I got this. I think it came with a bundle that I bought like five years ago off eBay. But this is a Dell power supply with a max output power of 750 watts. It has all the connectors that we need and it's free for my friend. So <laughs> hopefully it doesn't blow up. I'm gonna try this out so I can get rid of it. If it doesn't work, I have a backup 700 watt EVGA power supply. And for the case, we have a NZXT H4400. Now this is an old case, but I got it for free from a different friend a while back, and it's just been sitting around my house. And you'll see something special about this later. Also, my friend has a two terabyte hard disk drive that she will be pulling out of her crappy desktop and adding it to this for extra storage. And this is my overhead rig that I had set up for the build, but I can't find my clamp for this to mount the camera to. So you're not gonna get that view, which is because I just moved into this place. And this is the first video I'm making in my new house. And it's also the reason you see all this crap behind me. I mean, there is everywhere, but let's get into it. Let's build this thing.
So I think that this build turned out pretty good and I believe it looks amazing. I want to give a big shout out to Matt over at Troll Signs and Graphics who airbrushed this case for me. I think that the artwork looks amazing and this frosted window is just mwah. I'll leave a link to his website in the description below. You should definitely check him out if you want anything like this done in the North Atlanta area. This was a pretty straightforward build. Everything was pretty simple. I just had to move a few of the standoffs because it previously had a full-size ATX motherboard in it. And unfortunately for me, the Dell power supply was too big to fit in the basement of this case. Fortunately for my friend, I had the EVGA backup ready to go, which also unfortunately for me added 50 bucks to the overall price of this thing, which brings the overall total to about $350 plus 60 bucks for the airbrush, which is a steal. This thing booted right up just fine. Installed Windows, installed World of Warcraft. It plays the game great. Now this PC isn't gonna take advantage of all the new features that they're adding. You know, they got the RTX and stuff like that and Shadowlands, which I don't imagine the ray tracing is gonna be all that great in World of Warcraft anyway. Regardless, this is gonna be a huge upgrade for my friend and I really hope she likes it. All right, subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you thought it was pretty cool. If you want, check out some of my other videos and there will be more to come soon. I'm gonna try to get more settled in my new house and then I'll be streaming a lot more regularly again as well. All right, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have fun.